Hi everybody. It is June 5, 2019. YouTube to ban hateful supremacist videos. Another another purging is coming. YouTube announced Wednesday it would ban videos promoting or glorifying racism and discrimination as well as those denying well-documented violent events like the Holocaust or Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. The announcement by the Google-owned video sharing platform was the latest of a series of tech industry moves to filter out hateful and violent content which have spurred calls for tougher regulation. YouTube has always had rules of the road. Well, YouTube has always had rules, but when it was not owned by Google, YouTube had free speech. Google comes along, and since Google has owned YouTube, it has been suppression of free speech that now we are looking at the end of free speech. Great, isn't it? Today, we're taking another step in our hate speech policy by specifically prohibiting videos alleging that a group is superior, superior in order to justify discrimination, segregation, or exclusion based on qualities like age, gender, race, caste, religion, sex, orientation, or veteran status. Okay, um, there are so many people who believe that YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter, that these are privately owned companies. This is government, and this is government suppression of free speech. The move comes after a call by world leaders in Paris last month to curb ex extremism online following the New, e uh, New Zealand shooting. We will begin enforcing this updated policy today. However, it will take time for our systems to fully ramp up and we'll gradually expand coverage over the next several months. YouTube and other platforms have also been seen as havens for conspiracy theorists denying Holocaust or the September 11 attacks and for Nazi, uh, Nazi and white supremacist groups. Wow, man. Sandy Hook, 9-11, those videos present facts and evidence. And they're purging facts and evidence. They're purging truth. And for anybody who has been claiming that, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist because you have dug into Sandy Hook, 9-11, looking at all of the evidence, and you have, based on your research, weighing the evidence, critically thinking, you have come up with a conclusion that is different from the official narrative, which is a complete lie regarding September 11 and Sandy Hook. Well, you're a conspiracy theorist, and you need to be purged. Facts and evidence gone. I can't believe, I cannot believe that this world has turned into just uh, the purging of truth. Huh. Well, thank you, all of you who have refused to do any research yourself, call people crazy nut jobs, conspiracy theorists, because they have been able to retain their critical thinking skills and because they're responsible adults and they've actually done the research to find out that the official narrative is just a joke. So all of you have contributed to the suppression of free speech.
It will eliminate numerous channels that use the platform for monetization. No, it doesn't matter monetization or not. They're going after truth. Ja channels that repeatedly brush up against our hate speech he hate speech policies. How do you how how do you gauge such a vague policy when they don't even tell you what is hate speech? Oh, an opinion that's hate speech. Oh, facts and evidence presented hate speech. Calling things as they are, hate speech. Wow. Well, yeah, the world turns scarier and scarier by the day. Just want to alert everybody. Severe thunderstorms coming our way. Yeah. Severe storms to rattle Ohio Valley and part of Eastern Seaboard. Well, you know, where is it? Hmm. Oh, look, they're building it up for Ohio. Detroit, severe weather coming your way. Thunderstorms, hail. Look at that. And this is real time. <clears throat> Earlier when I was checking it out, there was nothing here. Nothing. So what is causing, oh, wow. Right along the border, blips of precipitation. And they blew this thing up. All of that, uh, which I posted last night, the train of thunderstorms in a line manufactured New Mexico and this area of Texas, gone, and they have blown this up. So, tropical downpours to unleash 12 inches, 12 inches over flood-weary south-central United States. It will eventually get to, you post videos on evidence of weather modification, they will be purged. Geoengineering, it will be purged. Any truth. And if you have not noticed, certainly since 9-11-2001, the, the killing off of free speech and how that has ramped up, just like YouTube is going to ramp up their purging of truth, yeah, very soon, all of what you have been able to obtain, all of the knowledge with this internet, it's going bye-bye. So, 12 inches. Okay. Steady rain, pretty much, in the central United States. That should beg questions for everybody. The downpours, the combination of a slow-moving non-tropical storm and a weak tropical disturbance loaded with moisture will unleash torrential rain and raise new concerns for flooding over the south central United States into this weekend. Ah, yes, our storms last for five days, even a week which you will see in this article. And slow moving, I guess that's the climate change. I guess that's because you're driving an SUV and well, if you have a cow, it farts. So it's slowing down weather fronts. And well, unfortunately, those underneath that weather front get flooded out. So much is happening that should beg questions, but we have a population of people who just will not think, will not grow, will not do anything. And yeah, 
it should piss everybody off. It will continue for several days over part of the lower Mississippi Valley. Hourly listen to this. Hourly rainfall of one to three inches can occur with daily rainfall averaging three to five inches. Uh, okay, hourly rainfall of one to three inches, slow moving, which means that well, if it's there for a day, what what do you have? You've got mm, 24 hours, and then times three is uh, oh, let's let's see if we can do the math. We got 48, and then 24, and 48 is uh, 62. <laughs> Did I get that right? Oh my God. Yeah, it's averaging three to five inches a day. Hourly rainfall will be one to three inches. I, I read things sometimes, and I'm I'm wondering, am I just going stupid because I just don't understand what I'm reading? There is the potential for some areas of the Interstate 10 and 20 corridors. Ah, where all of those Gwen Towers are lined up. Gwen Towers. They emit extremely low frequencies, which can modify the weather, can steer weather fronts, or can hold them in place. Yes, frequencies are powerful. So War Wharton and Pellis... Um, Palacios, Texas, sure I butchered that pronunciation, received eight inches of rain in less than 12 hours on Wednesday. On Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Wow, okay. So you received eight inches today in 12 hours. So I guess from midnight to noon, eight inches. Rainfall of this magnitude will trigger street and poor drainage area flooding. We have poor drainage area all over. Slow movement. Tropical moisture. Here. The rain is coming our way. Flash flooding, river flooding, travel disruption. Houston and Beaumont, Texas and New Orleans, Lake Charles, Baton Rouge, Louisiana will be at risk for inundation in some neighborhoods, small, um, some small streams and bayous will flood and ultimately trigger river flooding in areas that have not had such problems recently. So we now we're going to get those problems. Home and property owners prone to flooding should be prepared to move valuables and seek higher ground. Wow. Well, this is the new normal. Thunderstorms and rain. Seek higher ground and move your valuables. This is our friggin' world. And yes. Yes, it is. All intentional. Okay, so this is real time for the National Mosaic. And this is Ohio. Okay, so the storm seems on the National Mosaic, storm seems to be bypassing Ohio. But on this site, they are creating the precipitation. And we're going to have another thousand mile storm. No doubt. Ah, the tail is forming. Yes, the tail is forming. A tail in Texas, and then it goes right on up to Canada.
thousand plus mile precipitation storms, training thunderstorms, a train of thunderstorms, interstate 10 and 20, uh, move your valuables, seek higher ground, never seen anything like it. Look at all of these storms erupting. You got the microwaves going right through the coast of South Carolina and all of these storms are being generated. Well, I guess I'll just leave you with uh, playing a few minutes of this. You know, they were talking about climate change yesterday, and now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning. You know, it is absolutely just reprehensible, these people. Sickening. Now, they've been modifying the weather. My God, they started in the late 1800s. Um, in Vietnam, yeah, it's remarkable that these are our mainstream media reporters. They do not ever speak the truth. And then you have platforms like YouTube and Google and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and purging the truth, facts and evidence. Yeah. And you know what? That's left for the majority, who don't give a shit about facts and evidence. They like their lies, and they like their opinion. It's their world, not ours. They are helping to control this world as it goes into complete and utter tyranny on steroids. But we're pushed out of that world. So, you have this sick woman who talks about, well now, now they may be able to modify the weather. You know, the act. These are not reporters. These are not journalists. These are actresses and actors spewing their lies. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, nice to see you. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there together with Charlie, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Extraordinary seeing those two psychopaths together, wasn't it? Yeah, they did not get into this discussion, no. though. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers, really, to change really? the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion-watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game-changer. But this is experimental. It's experimental. How but this is experimental. They're doing it. They are doing it. And I believe that is why we are seeing these blips of not just precipitation, but blips of massive thunderstorms, or uh, not massive, but red is all over now. You have the eruption of thunderstorms. And I've shown you the frequencies that are now off the charts. They using these frequencies. Um, they are using lasers to create a lot of the flooding.
In the laboratory so far it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions, and these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. Go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? In did those really work then? Yeah, they sound like morons. They sound like little children. You know, naive little children. Did that really work? When we have our weather controlled by man and it has been controlled for a very long time but listen to Nora uh, respond when Cuckoo talks about what we did in Vietnam inclusive even in the 60s the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong governments have been playing with this to. thing oh, alleged oh my god don't don't say that Cuckoo alleged to it's alleged to cuckoo. Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing with this to. thing. Alleged. alleged to? Alleged to. Oh my God. I can't believe he said that. Okay. Alleged to. Oh, that's why they had a Senate hearing in the 70s. Senator Pell chaired that hearing about the weather modification activities going on in Vietnam. Oh, but I don't know that. I'm just a mainstream media actress. Sickening. And I'm sorry guys. Yes, I get upset. Why? Because liars are dangerous. They are dangerous. They cause destruction. They cause suffering. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. So, yeah, 12 inches in the flood weary south central United States. And, well, I guess YouTube might classify my passion as hate speech. <laughs>